On my pilgrimage to the Holy Land a few years ago, while we were touring different sites in the city of Jerusalem, we visited the place known as the Pool of Bethesda. Hello, I'm Father James Kabicki, and in today's Gospel, we hear how Jesus cured a man who had been sick for 38 years and was so sick that he couldn't get into the Pool of Bethesda. That word Bethesda means house of mercy or house of grace, and the waters of the pool had a healing effect at certain times. Today, the water is all gone, and what's left are a series of ruins that give you some idea of how much water filled the pools. Today, there are other Bethesdas, numerous hospitals that have that same name and which serve to help the sick following Jesus' example. And I'm sure some profound healings occur in those hospitals. But is there anywhere else in the world where healing water can be found? I'm sure you already have the answer. It's in France, at a place called Lourdes. And since the mid-1800s, there have been numerous cures that can only be called miracles. In the Gospel, people were cured when the conditions were just right, when the water in the pool of Bethesda was stirred up by a supernatural force. We don't know why some people are cured at Lourdes and others aren't, but what's important in all of this is to recognize that it is God who heals, not some magic word or motion, but God. And if you're asking for healing of any kind, be sure that you keep in mind the ultimate healing that's more important than any physical healing, the healing of your soul, the forgiveness of sin. When Jesus healed, he sometimes forgave sins first, and then healed the body. Let's make sure we have the same priorities as Jesus did.